Hola estudiantes, acá vamos a trabajar con el vocabulario de las nacionalidades, ¿ok? Nacionalidades, nationalities, ¿ok? Bien, vamos a ver qué tenemos. So, here we have a map. And what do you have to do here? Well, basically, match the countries from the list, ¿ok? And once you're done with that, of course, you can use um, the, the chapter zero for reference, okay? Go back to chapter zero um, in case that you need okay, some help in this part. Uh, of course, in 1.7, we don't have a partner. <laughs> so in this case, you have to identify the countries marked with a number on the map above. Okay, and then um, answer the question. ¿Qué país hispanohablante no está representado en el mapa? Okay, bien. Once you're done with that, you move on. And then here we start working with nationalities. Okay, pay attention. We have the countries and then we have the nationalities. Okay, we have a form for masculine, hombre, and a form for mujer. Take a look. What is the pattern that you see? Do you see a pattern? Men, for example, we have Chile, the second one, right? Chile, chileno, that will be the masculine. Cuba, cubano. Italia, italiano. India, Indio. Are we able to see a pattern? So what is the ending here? Now let's take a look at the mujer femenino. Norteamericana, Mexicana, China, for China, ¿verdad? China, Coreana, Ecuatoriana. What is the pattern? What is the ending? Another thing, did you notice? Uh, let me see. Did you notice? The first letter in Chile, Estados Unidos, Mexico, upper cases, right? Now let's go to nationalities. What do you see? Is that uppercase like English? Hmm, right? So that's another rule that you're learning now. We don't use uppercase for the nationality. Okay, only for the country. Now, for Estados Unidos, pay attention. We don't use um, America. We use Norte America or Estadounidense. I'm going to write it down for you. I know it's a long one, but a lot of people use it. Es so basically what you're doing is eliminating the S and then keep everything until the ¿verdad? Unido. Estado un Estado u, un Then <laughs> and then you're adding and to the okay bien again you eliminate the s the o s and then you add n c and n c because it's ending with an e will stay for both femenino y masculino okay bien let's keep working with this now, some nationalities, some, only some, are going to have an acento, accent, at the end of the masculine form. Do you see that? Did you notice that? Let me write this so we can use it. 
francés, japonés, inglés. Okay. So if my ending is ES, I'm going to have the acento. Okay. Like this. Now. Um, in the case of Inglaterra, we have Inglesa, ¿verdad? Inglesa. So, I'm going to give you this one. Inglés. So, a person from England will be Inglés. Masculine, right? And then feminine, Inglesa. So if the masculine is ending with ES, the feminine is going to be ending with ESTA. And then we eliminate what? Do you see that? This is supposed to be an S. We eliminate the acento. Okay? Bien. A ver. So that's that. Um, of course, here you have some information, ¿verdad? Form plurals by adding S or ES. For example, if you're, if you're talking about several females from Mexico, then you're going to say Mexicanas, then you add the S, okay? In the case of a, a consonant, like, Español, then it will be Españoles. Okay. Bien. And then move on to 109. In 109, listen to Olga. Again, you have to go to LTK, track 14. At this point, you're supposed to know where to find it, right? You go to LTK, right? Select student audio. And then the track. Okay, go to track 14 and then complete the activity. Okay, and finally, 1.10. Here we are going to keep using the como se llama and the de donde es. Okay, como se llama. You're going to take a look at these stamps from around um, all over the world. And uh, for each one, you are going to ask the question. ¿Cómo se llama? Write it down. Oh, that you have to repeat the question 20 times. Yes, do it, okay? Because then you are practicing. And eventually, when we have a quiz, you don't forget the question mark at the beginning and at the end of the question. Of course, you will know that every time that you are asking the question, what is what is his or her name, you need to use como, and the como is going to have also an acento, an accent, okay? So what I want you to practice is also the acentos, okay? So if you have to copy the same question 20 times, do it, okay? Bien. Um, so, ¿cómo se llama? And then, ¿de dónde es? Okay? ¿De dónde es? Uh, these people are famous people from the world. Here we have, of course, Shakespeare. We have Leonardo da Vinci uh, here. Here we have Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso is not from Cuba. Even though that here he says Cuba, he's not from Cuba. Okay? So think about it. Find out. ¿De dónde es Pablo Picasso? That will be your question. Lady D, Lady um, Diana. We have Eleanor Roosevelt. We have Martin Luther King Jr. We have Mahatma Gandhi. We have Evita Perón. Evita Perón. ¿De dónde es Evita Perón? And then we have uh, Napoleón Bonaparte. 
¿De dónde es Napoleón Bonaparte? So, copy all of that, okay? And we will be able to start with the professions next time, okay? Hasta luego.